Good morning. morning. Today is Prezi's birthday. <laughs> so we just finished packing all morning because Krista and Wops were kind enough and amazing enough to organize a really awesome surprise. So waiting for the car, gonna meet it soon. And off we go. And off we go. Top floor. It's high tech. Okay. No need to break in. No need to break in. Oh. oh. Come on in. Whoa. What? 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 Oh my gosh, Kay. All right, this is Waf's first time at a hotel. He doesn't know what to do. Here he goes. Woo! Oh. Time to go explore. Alright, so we just got to the famous, the infamous, notorious, historic Watergate Hotel. Watergate <laughs> Hotel, the two loves of my life, KK and Waf, surprised me with a one day r, &R in this wonderful landmark. And what made it even better is we got this free upgrade. They gave us the wrong room in the beginning. And man, look at this and look at all this face and the view is fantastic. But most importantly, he approves. He scoped out the entire room, walked around the perimeters, and gave his Lord stamp of approval. That's right. So <laughs> I think uh, we just got in, we just settled in, we're getting a little bit hungry. So rather than going out, I think the best decision is to see what food, what sort of delicious food can come to us. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we are starving. Yeah, and I want to also spend as much time as we can in this hotel. So after we do that, they also just opened up their pool and fitness center. So maybe check those out. And maybe afterwards, if we're feeling up to it, Cake and I can go out for a very nice birthday slash date night. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. Well, Waffs approves. Let's get on with the day and get some food. I'm thinking some ramen because that's what you've been craving all weekend. So yeah. birthday boy has to get what the birthday boy wants and let's, that's ramen. Let's do it. And so we're actually going to order ramen from maybe two, two different places. places. Just to expand our horizons faster on the ramen scene down here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Birthday day is off to a great start. <laughs> Welcome to the one bedroom suite here in Watergate Hotel. Still pinching myself, we got this for free. Thank you very much. So, when you walk in, you immediately get greeted by this wonderful living room. You get this really cool, kind of mustard brown sofa. Let's see if it's comfy. Oh, nice and cushiony. Comes with these really cool tube things. Very comfortable. Nice triangular, pretty solid and heavy black table here. Ooh, nice sturdy suede black chairs. This room also comes with very nice metallic accents on the walls for the lights. Very, very cool. You obviously have a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the Watergate Hotel and the apartment complex. If you need to get any work done, nice sleek modern looking table fit with your own desk lamp, phones. You get a control panel, which is cool. A nice water bottle. You get an espresso machine. Very, very important. Get that caffeine kick. You get a lot of different selections here as well in terms of what kind of coffee you want. Coming back this way, really nice flat screen TV. And check this out, nice ice bucket with a wine cork and a couple really nice glasses. And before we continue, can we appreciate Waf's here? He loves the couch. The most important thing is that it is cat approved and cat friendly. Going on this way, we have where, some people say the magic happens, the bedroom. You get a nice big mirror closet that fits luggage, jackets, plenty of hangers, iron up there, and a safe over there. Coming this way, you have this amazing bed. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. nice and soft. 
Oh, very soft. It's like a wonderful down bed. You also have a very, very, very nice corner here. On either side of the bed, you got very nice looking reading lights, light lamps, complimentary balls of water. You also get a chair similar to what we saw in the living room. And again, a fantastic view. But what's different here is that in this corner, you have a view of the beautiful Potomac River. Coming this way, nice little accent furniture. You get also a metallic light here as well. Wonderful flat screen TVs. Again, can we just pause and say that it is now cat approved, the bed. Nice and soft, right? It's super soft. With wafts, this hotel is very pet friendly. All they ask is for you to sign a waiver and a hundred dollar fee. Now, final, I'm sure you're wondering what is the bathroom in a one bedroom suite in Watergate Hotel look like? Follow me. Very nice, modern aesthetic here. You got, I believe, what they call a he and she sink. Also check this out. The branding, the symbol of this hotel is very cool. And then here you have a nice shower. It fits plenty of people or a lot of room just for one. What's great about this is that not only have a shower, but you have a bathtub. Check this out. This is a good bathtub too. If I lay down, oh, it's plenty of space. You can check this out? Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's a cat approved bathtub. What do you think? In front of myself, right next to the bathtub, you get the toilet where you do your business. And finally, a nice little super plush and soft bathrobe. Very, very important. But yeah, that's it. Such a great value, really good space. The views are epic. And Wafs and I, Wafs and I. <laughs> And Wafs and I, and Wafs and I, thank you for coming and visiting us. And enjoy the rest of the day and chillax on the sofa. Ugh. Our first ramen's here. Time to go pick it up. Thank you. This is from Akira Ramen. We got the Akira Volcano Ramen, one chashu bun, and a karage. Woo! This is the Volcano Tonkatsu sauce. Look how nice and thick and creamy it is. Okay, so everything was going perfect for this restaurant except for the fact they forgot the utensils. There are no chopsticks. What? How do you eat ramen? There's no fork, um, no spoons, no nothing. It's okay, we're gonna figure it out, somehow. Do we wait until the other ramen arrives? No, because the smell is intoxicating. I'll <laughs> eat it right now. All right, crisis averted. We just called front desk. They're bringing up forks, knives, so that we can eat the ramen, but at least we can uh, start with these guys because they're finger food. So, favorite fried Japanese chicken, karage, and chashu pork buns, look at that. Lemon, all ready. I'm just gonna be careful because he might jump. Here goes one. As expected, crispiness is gone because of the ribs, okay, but the flavor is on point. But let me try this. Maybe this is some sort of like spicy mayo. Oh yeah, chipotle mayo. Mm. This is a chashu pork bun. You got, ooh, two slices of pork in there, some sort of mayo, a slice of cucumber, and lettuce. The bun is actually really nice and sweet, and the meat here is actually quite mild. I'm thinking, do you think maybe this this will go with the bun, Kay? I think so, yeah. It looks really spicy. I'm gonna try that, ready? Oh my gosh, that's bright red. Oh my gosh. Really, oh! Uh-oh, oh. uh-oh. Really good. Let's try this one. A little horseradish, that's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Did I get it? Mm-hmm. Ping pong! Horseradish mayo. Mmm! So far, uh, these are pretty good. I, you know, I, I definitely recommend that if you go to the restaurant and you have this, you're probably gonna have fresh. Kadaga is probably gonna be particularly good. But the flavor is on point. Now we just have to wait for the spoon and fork and knives to arrive for KK so she can dive into this gorgeous looking ramen. All right, we're saved. The concierge came to our rooms with a giant tray with these on top of it. But KK, now you may enjoy your ramen. I've never had ramen with a fork before. So this is going to be <sighs> a new experience. 
for uber delivery ramen like this looks amazing the egg is perfectly perfectly cooked it has a nice soy sauce brown exterior the yolk is bright orange that chashu has a gorgeous golden color to it and this burnt caramelized edge and i love the little saffron note on top but i mean the saffron strands like very nice. See, we call Kika the, the ramen master. She knows the ramen. So she expects the highest quality ramen, and so she's a little bit dubious of uh, ramen being delivered rather than eating it straight. But what do you think? How does it smell? It smells great. As soon as I take a huge whiff, my mouth starts to salivate. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Okay, so let me just have the soup by itself first. But look at this. So tonkotsu is a pork broth soup, rich bone flavored. But here it's the volcano tonkotsu, so they've added some chili oil on it. That's why it's a little more orange than normal. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's a happy face. Is it good? Mmm. Oh my god, the perfect blend of Japanese chilies and this rich pork bone broth. Oh! Seriously? Yes. For delivery? Gosh, damn. Pour that in there now, you gotta mix it. Oh man. Ah! Ah! So when we ordered on Uber, on Uber Eats, we had the option of choosing different types of noodles. So we opted for the straight noodle. Okay. Or you could get the curvy one instead if you Ooh. would like. Okay, okay, okay. Give it a little bite. Mmm. <laughs> Really well cooked. Is it good? Yeah. It's amazing. It was delivered. It took half an hour to get here, but the noodle consistency has not changed. Oh man. It's the same kind of al dente texture you'd expect from a ramen, yeah, ramen shop. So Akira is a hit. Akira is a hit. Definitely deliver it if you can get the option. If you can go in person, definitely do it. We are gonna go to Akira. All right, Kiki, what do you have in front of us? We have another spicy tonkotsu ramen, but this time from Jinya. Presentation's a little bit different. So we got a bun. They only gave us one compared to two. So an order of chashu bun gives you one. Packaging for the seaweed. Interesting. Now, what I'm not sure is look at the egg. It's face downward. I know. You usually have the egg face up because yeah, so you can really measure the quality of a ramen yo based on the egg. But if the egg's facing down, what is it hiding? I know. Cause the egg is the best part. Okay, ready? Wait. What? It's not even cut in half. It's a hard boiled egg? Okay. Mm. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, me too. Anyway, you got big clumps of pork here with a spicy sauce on top. Yeah, cause I got the spicy tonkotsu. Okay, the spicy tonkotsu. Tonkotsu? Tonkotsu? Tonkotsu. No, tonkotsu. Ton tonkotsu is a fried pork cutlet. Gotcha, tonkotsu. Mm. And then there's was. And then, this is their soup. It looks this so- This is the tonkotsu soup. It's got globs of something in it. Where There's It's like fat. Okay, um, okay, okay. But what's different is this one looks so much darker. Mm -hmm. It's dark brown. Whereas the tonkotsu soup we have from uh, Akira was a light beige color. What's, that's the color you want with tonkotsu, is a light whitish beige cream color. Do you want to try it? This looks like a miso soup. Mm. So, just based on appearances alone, I'm not too- Excited, but gotta taste it. It actually tastes good. It doesn't taste like a traditional tonkotsu. It tastes like a shoyu tonkotsu, really. Uh, soy sauce mixed with a mm. little pork broth. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Also, a weird thing about takeout so far with these two places, they don't come with chopsticks oh, or utensils. Yeah. So we have to, we're, and we're using the same utensils we have with the first meal. Oh, they're curly. Ooh, okay, curly noodles. Oh, they're really thick too. Yeah. And look at they're, they're speckled. You see that? They're like patterned. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder what they're. What's like? Is that whole wheat mixed in? Mmm. Very different. So this is a curly noodle mm -hmm. or curvy noodle. So it's a lot more spongy. Um, it's more chewy in its texture, but. There are these brown flecks, and I think they're seaweed. It may or may not be right, so if you actually have any idea what it is, please let us know. I hope oh. it's soft or semi-soft. Oh, I don't know, I don't feel so good. It was kind of hard for me to get my, look, Overcooked. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, all oh. right, okay. Okay, 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 we got some ooey gooeyness. Okay. All right. Oh, thank God. 
Come color on, is good. Okay, the color is bad. good. It's just maybe 15, 30 seconds overcooked. One thing you need to look out for when you're ordering an egg from a ramen yum is to make sure that the exterior, the perimeter of the egg is clean and crisp on its edges. If you see anything that's grayish or greenish, that means they overcooked that egg. It's dead. Don't even attempt to eat it. That's not going to be yummy. But here, because this is a soy sauce flavored egg, you just want to make sure that there's a slight permeation of soy sauce brown that's coming in through the egg yolk. We don't want to come across as very nitpicky egg connoisseurs. It's just when you order ramen, egg happens to be one of the most important components to make a good bowl of ramen. Well, I am very picky when it comes to my ramen. This is, I grew up eating this stuff. I mean, so. it's basically egg, noodle, soup, and chashu, the meat, right? All four of these things have to be spot on and everything else like the corn and veggies is fine. But the egg, when you go and everything's perfect and the egg is cooked too much, it's the most disappointing feeling ever. So tonkotsu, you're supposed to have this really rich, emollient, kind of heavy viscosity. And this hits that. It covers your mouth in this oily creaminess. So mm. good job, Jinya. You've nailed that. And you have to try the chashu pork. It only came with one, so the question is, do I do I not share with KK? I want your birthday, you don't have to share. Just kidding. It's overly saucy. Wow, I don't know what kind of sauce that is. Why does that pork look so different from what's in our It's noodles? so different. It looks like it's some marinated, I don't know if it's teriyaki or soy sauce, but it also has some mayo in there. Okay, so the other chashu had two slices of relatively thin pork. Look how thick this one slice of pork is. You're really chewing. Mm. That means it's not soft. No, meat is actually very soft. It's oh. the flavor I'm trying to wrap my head around. Oh. So much flavor. It's like mm. maybe too much flavor. Mm. Something too sweet, too salty. I think it's this glaze. I mean, it's enjoyable. I think if you had a lot of sake or beer in you, this would hit the spot. Greasy and fatty from the meat and tender and saucy all in one. But back to back, the one with Akira was more mild and it, you know, you can have more of a control over the flavor, how much you want. It's so nice and soft and squishy, so okay. I'm in a ramen coma. Cake is still eating. But with ramen, gotta get some coffee here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. KK, do you want green or red? Red. Put it in here like this. Ooh, hold on. Cup, cup. You're doing espresso? I don't know what I'm doing actually. Okay. Oh, hold on, no. There's two different size cups. Small one, big one. Two. Okay, big one. In here. Like this. Oh, yes. I want the big one. Oh, it's flashing green. What does that mean? Now only one is flashing. Push it again. What? Okay, what do we do? I'm pushing. This is down. Oh, my God! That's it? Woo! That's it. Oh, here we go. Let's look. <laughs> That's an espresso, my love. I pushed the big button. Oh, that smells really strong. Are you going to press the little button or the big button? I'm going to, I'm going to put in the green one here. Okay. Come on. Whoa, so, so much more coming out of mine. Oh my god, okay, three, three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, okay, you love me? Yes. All right. Barista Preston created these. <laughs> I got a small cup and it's overflowing. Kiki has a big cup and you can't see what there's coffee like just that much in it. Uh, I can't even make an espresso, right? It's only one button. Right. <laughs> Two buttons actually. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Oh, that's strong. Bitter. Oh. <sighs> wow. Oh, you guys like burnt coffee. I feel like my tongue fell off. Well, the bottom's up. No. Okay. 
Oh, I either, we're, either we're gonna suck it up or try to find another option, but this is just, can't do it. Uh, coffee was a huge failure, but we're gonna chill a little bit in the bed so that we can digest. Oh, it's so comfy, KK. <laughs> How do you feel? I am very relaxed. We just had a nice bath, <laughs> and uh, it was a struggle to get out and put clothes on. <laughs> but we are adamant, and we're gonna go out and have a wonderful date night. And we're going to check out Founding Farmer's Restaurant in DC, apparently one of the most popular restaurants down here. This place is apparently, I think, one of DC's greenest restaurants. And they're all about promoting local fisheries, ranchers, and other businesses in a sustainable way. So it's supposed to be a really cute, American, rustic chic restaurant with good food. And we keep on being told this is a restaurant you have to visit if you're in DC. Mm -hmm. We got the garlic black wings. They're one of the best wings I've ever had. One of the best wings Chris ever had. And she's very picky about chicken, right, KK? Oh, I hate chicken. She, <laughs> she's very finicky about chicken, and she says, and I quote, these are one of the best wings I've ever had. I'm never gonna forget that. Perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of saltiness. Oh, it is finger looking good, but look at this. Skillet cornbread with honey butter and JQ Dickinson salt. What the heck is that? Whoa, it's so deep. Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Hot. Oh! This is what I call natural cornbread. Nothing processed. This is a lot, a lot of corn. You can taste the corn kernels. This is what cornbread is all about. Got some of that butter. Good, right? You know what it tastes like? It tastes like an angel food cake with corn. Whoa! Amazing. And two wines for my birthday. I'm already feeling it. <laughs> does that like appetizing? Mm -hmm, sure does. <laughs> this is a pot roast with green beans, mashed potatoes, and a heaping of gravy. But I'm starting to think I may have never had a pot roast in my life before because this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting. What were you expecting? A literal pot with the beef inside it. <laughs> Pot you expected them to bring a big pot to the table? This was cooked in a pot. Yeah, but why didn't they keep it in the pot? Wanna try it? Wanna try it? Mm. Ooh. Oh, it is tender. Oh, God. I don't even need to chew, and it's just falling apart in my mouth. It's so vibrant in flavor. Like it actually tastes like a vegetable and not something mushy and bland. A little bit on the watery side for a mashed potato, um, but it has good flavor, it's buttery. That's really good. Just finished everything, look. Empty wine one, empty wine two. No, but honestly, DC food scene continues to impress. We had such a great time. We're so full, can't even have dessert, which is sad because dessert looks legit. But honestly, I think if you're in the mood for good old American comfort food, come to this place. I think KK and I are gonna definitely be back and try other things because their menu is huge. Time to go home or go back to the hotel and uh, maybe get some whiskey. All right, we just finished dinner. There are no cars available. So KK and I are gonna have to get back to the hotel on these scoot scoots in the rain. Oh man, God help us. Oh my God, just made it. Protecting my camera too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Always an adventure, huh? Always an adventure. All right, just made it back, but KK. Yes. Night's not over, you know why? Why? Because apparently they have a really, really, really well-known whiskey lounge in this hotel. What? And we have to go check it out. I need some whiskey. I'm a little bit chilled after that drenched scooter ride. And we got some free hotel credit to burn, oh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go burn it. Ready, Waffs? All right, we're off. I'm not sure if uh, Waffy's allowed in the lounge, but... Or am I allowed in the lounge wearing my pajamas? Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look at this whiskey lounge fashion. <laughs> Oh, 
Kalapala family goes to Whiskey Lounge. We got two beautiful drinks here and we're taking it straight to the room. This has like dry vermouth, some orange in it. This one uh, has uh, rosé and some ginger, ginger cucumber. cucumber. Oh! <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> Hello. Brooms have ass. Oh, how convenient. All right. This is, uh... Oh, you're spilling! <laughs> Cheers! That's not bad. That's like a Moscow mule. That's great. <laughs> is that what it's supposed to be? I, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Swap. Swap. Got it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Yours is good. It tastes like a, uh, like, it's almost like a garden in a cup here. Yeah, you got the mint, you got the cucumbers. What a, what a past couple days, how do you feel? I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. Your birthday weekend is exhausting. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted right now. We drove insanely fast cars on Friday, which was absolutely amazing, and then Yesterday, we went hiking we went yesterday, orchard. went to the orchard, and then today, we just had a really nice R&R &R day here at the Watergate Hotel. It's just been a blast, even though it's been really, really tiring. <laughs> and it's great because birthdays have never really been a big thing for me growing up. And, and as you get older, you start to realize, you know, what means a lot to you or what you actually want. And honestly, this is it. Just spending time with, with what we call a bam bam. You got, you got KK, you got Wafts. Making more memories, making more experiences. What more can I ask for? So we're settling in, found a lot of new things to do and eat in, in this weekend and able to celebrate me getting another year younger with the people and my baby. That means the most to me. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I appreciate Wafts too. No, you're not 21. No, he probably is. He's like, 50 years old. So it's been a ton of fun and uh, something that I will never forget and I will cherish and I hope that uh, if you watch this you enjoyed coming along with us. We're settling in here quite nicely here in BC. We're actually becoming to like it quite a lot. Quite a lot, yes. It has a nice charm to it. It certainly does. And the food scene. Biggest lesson. Don't judge it. Mm -hmm. you knock, don't knock it till you try it. Been a humbling experience. Almost it's every place surprising us. Right? Almost yeah. every place we've been through so far have impressed us. And this wraps up Preston's birthday, birthday weekend. weekend bash. Please continue to follow us if you want. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe and, and comment down below, please. We appreciate it. Love to hear from you. We'll see you on the next, next one. one. Bye Nara! <laughs>